How's it going? So today's video is a brand focus video and we are focusing on the balm. So I um, do have one eyeshadow palette that I got off, I got it from a goodie bag yonks ago, around Christmas time, not really yonks ago, a few months ago, and I fell in love with this. I did do a makeup tutorial on this and um, I just love the love the quality of these eyeshadows this is the nude tood eyeshadow palette i think they're about 42 euro here in ireland you can get the bomb on asos.com you can get it in debenhams a few different places like a few pharmacies um but this um was actually my first time ever trying it and i was really impressed with it um i think did i give like a little mini review on that i can't remember but yeah really really loved this palette and um have been using it quite a lot since I got it. It's one of my kind of go-to palettes at the moment. So um, I was very, very excited to be sent a load of other stuff from the uh, from the brand. And like, I wasn't told to like feature them in a video. I can do whatever I want with the products once I get sent to them, once I get sent them. But I do think they're good enough that I want to share them in a video because they really, really are great. So this is the first palette that I got in the newest kind of delivery. And it is the Meat Matte Nude Palette. This guy here is 52 euro. Yeah. And um, so it's a little bit more expensive than the other one. Um, it is Nude Matte Eyeshadow Palette. So basically um, all the eyeshadows are named after lads called matte. And it really has, uh, it has a massive mirror, but it really has the nicest matte eyeshadows in it. So I'm wearing these today. Um, I have Mac Malloy, which is this just a slightly off-white matte eyeshadow here as my highlight. I have Matte Sing here on my main lid, which is like a minky brown. We have Matte Hung, I don't have this on today. Matte Garcia is the dark in the outer corner. Matte Wood is this lovely deep, deep dark, um, slightly cooler matte brown. Matte Lombardi I have as my transition shade, another beautiful shade, really, really lovely. Matte Abdul then is this taupe. We have Matte Rosen, which is a warm, warm brown, and Matte Janssen again, another grey. So just really lovely mix of matte eyeshadows. And like the colour payoff is unreal. Like it's such a nice, you just touch it and there you go. You have amazing colour payoff. Um, I will be doing a, oh yeah, just look at that. I will be doing a um, blog post. Actually, it probably could be up already. It'll either be up or it will be going up soon. I'll link it down below if it is up already um, to show all the swatches so that you can see how they swatch on the skin. But I mean, you can even tell from looking at my eyes, they go on amazingly and I did not use any um, primer with these because the second I touched them when I first got it, I was like, that just doesn't need a primer on my dry lids. Maybe if you're oily, you would, but not on my dry lids. So I was more than happy to use them without a primer and they've gone on amazingly soft and you know, they blend perfectly. So such a big fan of that palette. Um, I think I would choose this palette over all the other ones just because I'm going through a matte phase at the moment and, um, matte, the eyeshadow, not matte, the dude. <laughs> but um, yeah, really, really loving that palette. I think that's my favorite of everything. Then one of the other palettes I got, which is like the first one that I showed you, um, this is the Nude Dude. So whereas the other one was the Nude Tood, this is the Nude Dude. Um, yeah, it has a, I was gonna say a chick. <laughs> it has a girl on the outside, but all the, on the inside it's all lads. So it is very, very like the, nude dude nude tood oh i'm getting confused in that way but the nude tood has girls with their bits hidden by the eyeshadows and this one has um lads with their bits hidden by the eyeshadows but i mean the lads are actually wearing what well, looks kind of like diapers <laughs> whatever um again they're i haven't actually tried this one out i'll be honest i don't know but i just assume that it's going to be the exact same as this they look the same so that's why i figure it's the exact same um the exact same formulas and stuff as that so I just assume it's gonna be a really really nice palette I do like the shades and all that and um, I'm not really going to talk about this because it's more or less the same just different shades as the other one but I love the other one so I assume I love this one as well and they're the colors are like different enough that I think I'll keep it um, they're similar like I mean obviously they're both nude like neutral shades so they're similar enough in one way but I think they are different enough that I'd be happy to keep both palettes 
Now, um, I mentioned, did I mention this? No, I mentioned this in the favorites that went up, went up on, th on Tuesday. This is the Mary Luminizer um, highlight. So this is like the mother of all highlights. Everyone and their aunt on YouTube has them. And it's just such a popular um, highlight. So this is this beautiful golden highlight. If you can see how it reads on my skin. And like you can really use this on any skin tone. Um, I think there are darker, yeah, I think they do do darker highlights as well, but um, this would be the only one really I think that would suit my skin tone. The texture is lovely and smooth. I think it's about 25 euro. Yeah, 25 euro roughly. Um, like it's smooth texture, but I'm pretty sure it has, give me a sec, yeah, maybe it's the wax. It has like a bit more of this, okay. It's less powdery, say, than my Catrice highlight or my Laura Mercier one. So you have to be careful not to work it in too much over foundation if you haven't set up a powder, because it could maybe get a little bit mucky, but it's got amazing staying power, power, staying power, and I'd say that's probably to do with the wax in it. Um, really lovely highlight, and I can see why it's so popular. Then moving on to something else I'm wearing today, it's this guy here, and it is the Cabana Boy uh, shadow blush. This is about, hmm, let me see. I'm looking at ASOS.com for the prices just to give you an idea. Obviously, I don't know what it is in like dollars and that, but you can check yourselves. Uh, $24.65, yeah. And this can be used as either a blush or an eyeshadow. So I have this on today as a blush, although I didn't go overboard because I still have some cheek acne that I'm to be careful of and um, I love this shade. This is like my favorite kind of shade of blush. I love a cooler shade blush. This kind of berry tone is just gorgeous, like really, really lovely. Again, the texture is amazing. Um, you can see it here in the swatches, how it looks with and without flash. And um, you're seeing Hot Mama as well there in the, in the swatch, which I'll show you in a sec. But love this tone really really love it um it's the color that i would have picked out myself um so i was so happy that i saw that this is the one that was sent to me um it's a nice size like there's plenty in the palette it's not like you know a little bit a little pan and then loads of packaging around it it's a massive pan with a little bit of packaging around it so yeah the packaging of all of these is paper that doesn't bother me um too much but because it's quite sturdy and all that um really really lovely palette or not palette just a lovely blush but you, like I said you can use it on the eyes then what did I just mention there the hot mama if I can find it so this is 21 euro just over 21 euro again it is a blush um this is just a blush I think rather than for the eyes and yeah it's just a blush this is like Nars orgasm I think I don't own it but I just think that that's what it looks like it is a really nice peachy golden like a golden orange, golden peach blusher, yeah. And it definitely has more light reflection. So I love the Cabana Boy because it is more of a satin matte. Um, this definitely has way more light reflection, r r reflection, yeah, to it, um, which is something I am avoiding, like on my spotty area so I um, haven't really been wearing this yet but it is lovely and it's probably something I'd wear using my kit more than on myself because I tend to work on a lot of tanned clients just not really me so I love this kind of color for more tan skin and then the cooler color for lighter skin Um, lovely palette and again you have a lot of product with a little bit of packaging around it which is what I like to see I don't like wasteful packaging Okay, let's move on to the Schwing Black Eyeliner. So um, I'm not always a big fan of these kind of eyeliners. It is the one that has like a rigid nib. I usually like the ones with the little brush nibs. Um, I find I have way more control, but this has a much finer nib than what I'm used to seeing in this kind of packaging. So I used this to do my own eye today and have to say it was a breeze to work with. Lovely and black, um, really, really nice formula, really nice to apply and um, 16.90 on the ASOS website and it is quite a matte black eye, um, eyeliner as well, which I am a fan of. I don't really like, well I suppose I got two phases, but because I'm going through my matte phase, I want my eyeliner to complement my black or my, my black, my matte um, eyeshadows. So another big thumbs up for me. There's nothing here that I'm not liking so far. 
Uh, we'll get on to something I'm, I'm like I do like and I don't like at the same time. So we'll move on to the lip stuff because I think that's all I've left to show you. Yeah, I got two of the Meet Matte Hues Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. Now I have one of them on today. Um, I did start off with a new look lip pencil because I tried them on without the last day and I just um let's just judge my hair up a little bit more for a sec hold on yeah I wore it without the lip liner the last day and I found um I just get a nicer shape with the lip liner so this is um committed and this is the color I've on today you'll see in the swatches here what it looks like on the skin as well but um the reason I was saying something negative about it is that after maybe seven hours of wearing it it got very dry on my lips. Now that was with no lip liner or anything underneath as a barrier. So with the lip pencil underneath it, I found it's a little bit less drying and um, I haven't worn it yet over lip primer just because I'm low on my lip primers. So I'd say that would help again. But um, I think in general with these long lasting lip sticks, like the matte ones, the liquid ones, you, do tend to find that most of the time they'll get quite dry after a few hours. So these are the kind of formulas that I would personally only wear when I only want to wear lipstick for like maybe three or four or five hours, not for a full long, long day. Um, other than that, I love the color. It's a beautiful, neutral, pinky nude, like such, such a lovely color. And um, I do love it so much more over the lip liner. The color from, the color of the lip liner I'm using is number 17 by New Look. Um, really really nice lip liner as well um, but yeah really really like this lip liquid lipstick on it just gets quite dry after a good few hours of wearing it but like that's not much of a complaint because that's a long time wearing it and then I was also sent Loyal which is this bright bright red I haven't worn this yet uh, I assume the formula would be, a, would be the same if it's not let me know but I assume it would be the same and I really like this colour it's like a blue red I just haven't worn it yet like I said now I'm wearing this gloss over the uh, Meet Match Hues Committed today because I figured it would help it not dry up maybe as much as it has in the past. And this is in the colour BAM. So it is one of the pretty smart lip glosses. Um, as far as lip glosses go, it's fine. I'm just not really bothered about lip glosses either way. I like the colour of this though. It has good colour payoff and um, you'll see in the swatches here how it looks like compared to the other ones as well. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say about lip glosses. They're just lip glosses. Let me let you know the prices of those though, by the way. So, I mean, it's it's safe to say it's a very mid-range, mid to high range price bracket when it comes to these guys, um, which is fine by me. Um, so the lip gloss is new, like about the same as MAC, roughly, I'd say is the price range. Um, normally 17.60 and it's gone down to 14 euro at the moment on ASOS. Um, the... Liquid lipsticks are not here for some reason, but I assume they would be more. I'd, I'd assume they'd be in the 20 euro mark. Um, the other two lip glosses then are, we have Boom. So the first one was Bam. Now we have Boom, which is this dark burgundy red. Haven't tried this yet either. And then we have Pow, which is this beautiful, strong, strong pink. And again, you'll see them in the swatches. Um, so yeah, they'll be great for the kit and they look great. So I'm excited about the packaging. I'm actually very excited about the packaging. That's what really draws me to this brand brand because I am a sucker for vintage packaging. Definitely. I love me some vintage packaging. Okay, we have one more product to show you and it is a lipstick which I cannot for the life of me see anywhere. So give us a sec. Right, that lipstick does not want to be found. I have no idea where it's gone. Uh, it's here somewhere. It's definitely here somewhere. It probably just um, took fall somewhere and I don't know where it is but basically it is you'll see the swatch here in the um in the picture it is the the bomb girls lipstick and um it's ma <laughs> ma bills be paid me bills be paid ma me my ah my bills be paid that's it my bills be paid and um it is this gorgeous gorgeous nude god oh, give me one second I'm determined to find this I found it <laughs> it was hiding among some x factor stuff so it's this gorgeous nude um nude uh lipstick yeah and unfortunately it did break now that was my own fault because i had it like up nearly this high when i went to swatch it which is a big like a rookie mistake i should have known better and it broke so just make sure there's only a little bit sticking out whenever you do swatch it but it is a lovely lovely um a lovely lovely like creamy texture so it's not dry feeling it has a satin finish and um i love this it reminds me a little bit of 
Like the Viva Glam matte. No, it's not that matte though. But it's just that lovely mauvey tone. I love that tone of lipstick. I mean, it's a little bit actually like the commission that I'm wearing. It's my favorite kind of tone of, of nude lipstick. Um, and yeah, that's it. Those are all the products I have to show you today. Um, that lipstick is 19 euro beauty dubs. Oh yeah, they have the um, Betty Luminizer is the um, highlighter for darker skin, like for a good bit darker. Um, yeah. Okay, that's it. Enough babbling out of me. That's plenty to show you today. I'm really, really liking it. I'm like super enamoured by that whole range so far and really, really enjoying everything that I've been trying. So that's it. I'll see you on Tuesday for my next video. Although in real life, I'm going to be away on holiday in Lanzarote. So I'm, I'm going to try and film that for you while I'm gone. Um, maybe check my Snapchat as well while I'm gone, which is Shiblet's Makeup, so that you can see, hopefully if I have some... Um, data, not data, but Wi-Fi that I can um, share some of what's happening over there with you. Um, and hopefully I'll have a vlog then when I come back. But I will have uh, videos up when I'm gone anyhow on Tuesday and Friday as usual. So thanks so for watching. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe as I do upload twice a week. And it's generally makeup and beauty related if you're interested in that. So I'll just see you later. Take care. Slime